They added a flamethrower to MW3, so we're going to test it out in zombies. And we might as well get the camos for the gun it's attached to as well. Like I mentioned, the flamethrower is attached to a weapon here. It's an under barrel attachment. And I decided to throw it on the Ram 7, which is the new assault rifle added in this season. And if you want to get both of these, you got to get it through the battle pass. And if you're wondering how I got it so fast, it's because I'm a cuck and I bought the black cell. But where's some zombies at so we can test this out? Come here. Ah, uh, that's pretty decent. It's better than the, the Storm Ender, that's for sure. One thing I am concerned about, though, is that when I was equipping it, it said that the cons to it is that you cannot reload the flamethrower. I'm hoping that's just a multiplayer thing and that we didn't throw an attachment on here that we can't use at all after a certain point. So maybe we should try to find like a munition box and see if we can refill it there, because if we can't, then uh, I'll be a little upset. OK, so we have 230 flames left in here, whatever the hell you want to call it. Oh, it does refill at that. Okay. That's a, that's a weight off my shoulders. Because if you couldn't refill it, I was going to have to use this sparingly. Because I kind of want to test this out against some elites. Especially some elites that are weak to fire damage. To see if it still counts as fire damage against them. And maybe if we get our pack a punch level high enough, we can try it out against some bosses. But I am uh, pretty broke when it comes to Aether Crystals right now. So the one pack a punch aether crystal i have i'm saving for next game that way i can get the zerk on scale faster and then i'm thinking at the end of next game we're gonna hop into the the bad signal thing where we go into the dark aether and i want to try to beat the big worm boss oh we can get cryo freeze on this you know what let's do it i wonder if we can do cryo and fire damage at the same time using it or if we can even proc like ammo mods with it oh you can i just froze him with fire I fired him with froze. But since we are broke as shit, I'm gonna have to run a few contracts here so we can get pack a punch to make this fly by a little faster. Because for the camo challenges we got today, I need to get 250 kills with this, which is pretty simple. I'm pretty sure I already have it done. I need 250 hip fire kills. I need 100 kills shortly after using my field upgrade, which maybe I shouldn't have came in here with frenzy guard because it is one of the slower working field upgrades or slower regening field upgrades. But I'm sure we'll be fine. And then we also need 200 critical kills. Oh, but I did bring in this aether tool that I forgot to use. There we go. Oh, we got a spore contract right here, though. Let me grab that before someone else comes and takes this. We're about to be in another contract apocalypse. I was having such a hard time finding Outlast contracts just like a few days ago. And now that those have been nerfed, I think spores are going to be like the main grinding contract out there. But if Treyarch or whoever's like balancing this really does not want people like using contracts to grind out camos, why don't they just make one contract specifically for grinding? Like they could actually just make a contract similar to like the Assault Wave on Firebase Z. We're like, you know, you pick up the contract. It's like, oh, this portal opened up over in this area. Go there and investigate. And then when you get there, like 150 zombies will spawn or like 300 zombies, something like that, you know, over time. And then like at the end, maybe Orta will show up, which would be sweet. I doubt they'd add something like that, but I feel like out of all the developers, Sledgehammer and I guess Treyarch included are probably like the two most are the two developers that listen to the community the most. So maybe in the future we could get it, but it seems like right now we're getting more stuff kind of taken away than added in, at least in terms of like being able to grind out camos because I did add in a bunch of new content to this that I like a lot. Oh, those are 250 hip fire kills. So we don't have to worry about hip firing anymore. Hold on, you can get critical kills with the flamethrower? That's ridiculous, dude. I'm starting to think maybe the spore contracts were nerfed a bit. So I'm not getting very many zombies here. Like it's it's a little amount and it's like consistent, but definitely not as much as before. Maybe it's because these spores are just a little too separated. They're not as close together. Maybe I'll try throwing the ticklers on these. Also, there's our critical kills camo. I'm not really seeing much of a difference. I think it's the same. That's lame. Hold on, where's my field upgrade camo at? I'm doing this for a minute. There it is. Let's go. So now we got all of our camos for this. And I had a genius idea. For the rest of this game, I'm going to run contracts until I got enough money to get pack a punch three. I already got enough to get pack a punch one and two. But I'm going to see if I can get all the way up to pack three. And then I'm going to go pay my respects. And we're going to roll the dice and see if I can get a nice little crystal to start our next game with. But before I go and do all that, I just got this pack a punch too. Let's see how the flamethrower is now that the gun is pack a punch. Does it do any more damage? Looks like it probably would do about the same. I mean, these are tier two zombies now, not tier one, but it still does pretty decent against them. Runs out kind of fast though. We already went through about like 125 flame or whatever the count is for this. Oh, well, so I'm going to go ahead and grind these contracts out and hopefully we get some good shit. And I decided to do a bounty. What does a flamethrower do against a uh, bounty elite? Basically nothing. Damn near nothing, actually. Eh, it's starting to kick up. 
This is an elite that's very weak to fire damage too. But we're completely out of ammo with it, so. Safe to say it don't do a whole lot. But we did get a max ammo, so he's getting some more. And it says I have 600 down in the bottom left. Like my ammo doubled for it. Or the bottom left of the bottom right. Like I got 300 more fluid than it actually says. Maybe I can keep shooting after it says no ammo. Mm, nope. All right, well, it was worth a shot. It's pretty good against the mimic though, it looks like. Uh, I mean... No, maybe not. Maybe against like normal mimics, but not this one for sure. You don't give a fuck about it. Oh, there's a three plate vest. That's what I'm talking about. Only had plates to put in it. Okay, give me pack three. And let's try to get this crystal. I have one decoy left. Hopefully it's enough. Zombie, please fuck off. What the fuck? Go to the decoy. Leave. Thank you. Pay the respects. Come on. Pop up. Give me my stuff. Wow. Cryo freeze. Sweet. We did that all for nothing. All right, we're out of here. And there's our gold camo. Perfect. All right, for this game, I'm starting out with a Pack-a-Punch Crystal, my only Pack-a-Punch Crystal that I own. I'm going to get a quick little Zircon skill, get my money up, get the Pack-a-Punch 3, and then we got a date with the worm. I fought him twice and lost both times. This time's going to be different. Oh, and there's our Zircon skill. Let's go. We just need to get a little bit more money. And then we can head on into the Dark Aether. And right, we got Pack-a-Punch 3. And we have a little bit more time left in this game than I thought we would. And I currently have two chunks of flesh. I'm debating whether or not I should just hop in to the Dark Aether and hopefully get more chunks of flesh while I'm there. Because if you don't know, there is a little Hellhound spawn that you can do. And since I am playing solo, it'll be very helpful to have a Hellhound constantly respawn me. And that way I don't have to waste my self revives or like if in case I run out of them or something. But when I tried this out on stream, I only had three chunks of meat and my Hellhound was gone before like the boss fight really even started. So I think I'm going to run back to the tier one zone really quick because I'm pretty sure the more damage you do to a zombie, the higher chance you have at getting a uh, flesh dropping, I think fire or explosive damage plays into that as well as going for headshots. So I'm going to try to get my chunks of flesh and then we'll head up right back over there. Oh, there's one right away. Let's go. One more and we're good. There's our last chunk of flesh. Let's go. Give me that. All right, let's go in there. All right, now we're in the dark aether and we have to kind of pick up the pace here because we have to break these four seals and we only have 30 minutes to break all four of these seals and take out the boss. So I'm pretty sure that seal over there in the, the right corner is the one that has the dog house. At least I hope it don't change spawns. So I'm going to save that one for last that we can grab our dog on the way to the boss fight in case it does despawn or something or lose health. But if we want to keep any of our stuff like our... Our, our armor vest, our backpack, our insured weapon slot, literally anything. We need to beat the boss to get out of here, and I'm yet to do that. So we gotta fill up this soul box. Oh, shit. Of course, I gotta reload right when I pop that. But this shouldn't be too difficult. These are only level 2 zombies. And a mimic, apparently. Bastard. All right, that's clear. Let's get moving to the next one. It would really help out if the minimap here wasn't all corrupted, but I guess it adds to the dark aether ambiance or whatever. And we do have a pack-a-punch machine here, and I brought in this LMG that I found, so I'm gonna pack-a-punch it just for a little extra firepower if we need it. But still number two, let's start it up. Let's use a little bit of this flamethrower. Uh, I don't know if it's the greatest. Maybe we'll save it for the worm. Maybe the worm don't like fire. That's two seals down, two to go. Start this one up and get to work. Holy shit, there's so many zombies. I literally have three manglers just in this circle alone. Eat a nade. That should end the seal. That should finish it up. Perfect. Onto our last seal. Start it up and we got to finish this one quick. And it looks like the doghouse is still down there. I can barely see it on the mini map, but it's there. No! Oh, I didn't really want to use a self revive before the boss fight. Fuck. Oh, we're doing so good too. Oh, okay. We, the seal's broken. Let's go. We are so close to dying right there too. But if we hop right down here, there's our little dog house. Mangler, I need you to leave. Other hellhound, I need you to leave. The rest of you zombies, get the fucking memo. It's like unlimited zombie spawning. We gotta throw a decoy. Let's throw all of these in. All four, fill it up. And give me my dog. Let's go. Oh, it's Callie. All right, Callie. We got a mission to complete. Let's go. We're going to have 20 minutes to try to take on this worm boss. That is basically a bullet sponge. The furthest I got on this boss was with the Ram 7 and I got it to half health. Let's see if I can finish the job. It's like, oh, leave the Dark Aether. Oh, sweet. Let me get down to this portal. Psych. All right. You're getting airstriked immediately. Do not go underground, you big bastard. Oh, you went underground. Cocksucker. And the scariest thing about this boss fight is these little orbs that he shoots out. It's kind of like the black chest event. If you guys remember that from Cold War. It's just does so much damage for nothing. And then he does one of these. 
Ooh, if he ever launches you in the air, by the way, and you get caught in it, or you get caught in his mouth, he always throws you once you're in his mouth, and all you gotta do is just spam your parachute button as you're getting out. Otherwise, he'll go down immediately when you hit the ground. I don't even know where my hellhound is. I saw it for a second over here. But I think it might have gotten taken out by the boss, which really sucks. So we really can't afford to go down. Callie? Callie, where'd you go? Oh, shit. Oh. Okay, so we didn't get launched there. Perfect. Beautiful. Ooh. Damn it! A laser hit me just by an edge. And he's got his orbs out, so I gotta be really careful. Yeah, I think he might have just targeted Callie right at the start there. And just completely wiped her out, which really fucking sucks. So we got no more self-revives. We cannot go down at all if we want to beat this guy. Which is not looking likely at the moment. I have literally one HP. Oh. Alright, you try to come get me, you bastard. What is he doing? Healing? I didn't even go that far away. Oh, shit. Okay, so this is the part where you're going to want to spam your parachute. Is he going to toss me? Yeah, you thought, bitch. What's up? I have some flamethrower. You like that? It really doesn't do a whole lot to him, I don't think. Yeah, I really want to beat this guy solo, but I don't even know if it's possible for me. Oh, shit. Here we go again. Unintentional CJ. Let me out, bastard. Fuck, he did! I was spamming my parachute too. Oh, I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna beat this guy. Well, if you got any like meta builds or something for him, let me know. Cause the Ram 7 did not get it done. Flamethrower didn't really do anything either. Maybe I'll hold out hope that Callie's still out there somewhere. Callie? Hello? Well, fuck. This sucks. This guy's a big bastard. I think he knows it. Fuck you, Gorm, Gorm Gnot. Gorm Gant, bitch. And there goes all of our shit. Unfortunate. <sighs> 50% done on that mission. It's going to stay like that for a while, I think. Well, this is what our Ram 7 looks like with Zircon scale in-game. Pretty decent, but what is cool about it is that if you switch to your flamethrower and you inspect it, you can inspect just the flamethrower, which is pretty cool. Nice little detail that they added in there. And just for fun, this is what it looks like shooting it. Well, unfortunately, the worm is now 3-0 against me. I got to I gotta come up with a plan. I want to beat him solo. I know it's probably a lot easier with people. It's probably more intended to be done with people, but I got to get it done on my own. I got a vendetta. But besides Besides our heartbreaking loss, honestly, the Ram 7, pretty good in zombies. It did pretty well for itself. Uh, it was holding its own in all three tiers and with a flamethrower. The flamethrower is pretty fun. It's not like the most OP thing in the world, but it can do some damage on any zombies, basically in any zone, which is pretty cool. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.